Hey folks, so we've got a lot going on today. Um, it's been 40 degrees here for the last three days and we're both post COVID. So <laughs> still recovering from that. Um, we have got some gear ready to try and install our boss jockey wheel. Yep. Um, we're both not really feeling it today, so. Uh... Oh, we'll see how we go, we should be okay. So what we've got to do, come this way. Basically this guy has to come off. So we've got to undo all of these, but first we're going to have to back up, jack this all up so that uh, it's free to come off. Uh, once that comes off, then we'll put together the boss jockey wheel. So we've got all the bits laid out here. And then once uh, we've got this sort of frame on, and then these guys bolt to that, then we actually put the jockey wheel on, which we'll show you when we get through. But that's the mm. basics of what we need to do. So first thing first, we've got to get the legs up. While we're out here, we're filling with water as well. See this? Hard work. <laughs> so next job obviously is um, raising the van up so we can hitch it back to the car. One of the reasons that we are excited about the Boss Jockey Wheel is that Every time we get the van level and unhitch it with this current uh, jockey wheel, it moves. So then we're not level. Um, so hopefully the boss jockey wheel will make a difference with that. We'll see. <laughs> Hitched up. So we had to go and buy a new tool bit this morning, um, but we reckon we've got everything else we need. See how we go. There you go, one jockey wheel off. One very heavy jockey wheel. <laughs> Now I think the idea with the new one is that we're going to try and mount it on the inside of the A-frame. Is that right? Yeah. So have it sitting inside rather than on the outside. These guys we can go on the inside with the fit. Like that. And then those black things that you saw will bolt up to here. Mm -hmm. Glad someone knows what they're doing. Just come to see what Charlie's doing. She's been a good girl. <laughs> We 
would be nice to have the awning out today, but um, pretty much every day here is really windy, so no. So what I'm doing here is just basically putting it in place, like sticky taping it together so that we can see if it's actually going to work. do it so that you've got the pole going through there when you finish camping you can undo that the pole comes out this just goes back on you put the pole actually in your tunnel boot rather than leave it on the car and this just goes and tightens up just like that See so what we do to try and bring you content. It's hot, he's got sweat on his head. <laughs> I was sweating. Uh, we just come in to change the battery in the GoPro. Brenton's put on a long sleeve top and have some water. And then apparently we have an issue. So you can't see the issue from there. Hmm. So the issue that we've got is that this little guy here, I can't get a spanner into him and he'll keep turning. Oh. Whereas the top ones, they tended to lock a little bit more. Do we have a wrench? So we have got nothing that will fit in there, honey. Oh. Um, like this guy here, that's fairly tight. This guy here is relatively loose in there. Oh. But I have a plan. Because I have a plan. <laughs> the man's got a plan. This will be interesting. What's the plan? The plan is that I'll use the original brackets that were on there, which I can fit a spanner in. Ooh. Hopefully. The Just like that. <laughs> Fingers crossed it all goes together well. Never thinking. Now we're going to consult the instructions again. Brenton has read them, but just to see if we actually need to put two of these black things on. Or if we can get away with one. Um, so yeah, we'll check that out. So I just did the YouTube boss instructions thing and this is what they said. So where you've got it is right for the double, so you have one on the top and one on the bottom. If you just want a single, you can, and you put that one in the middle hole. But using the double clamp gives you a much 
sturdier, stronger hold. Let's see how we go with just a single. We'll have all the gear there, we can add it later. I will now move that down to the middle hole mm -hmm. and see how we go. Cool. So on second thought, we reckon we'll go with the double. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it is a little van, but it's freaking heavy. So yeah, she's three ton. Basically a three ton van. So we've got a down ball weight here of 280, 290 kilos. Yeah. So we've got to make sure that we can hold 290 kilos. Yeah. And be move around in the wind and stuff yeah. like that when we're And you camp. know, we're not always going to be on a level surface as well. We know that. So in hindsight, it is probably better having the double plan. Nothing ever really goes to plan. Um, we're just gonna plug the drill in for a little bit. Hey Charlie. <laughs> what are you doing up there? So we're just charging the drills up again, the batteries, and the top bolts are actually too long. Um, so we're gonna loosen that off a little bit and probably pop another washer on just to pack it out a little bit. So anyway, we are just cooling off for a minute and having some more water. So we've actually taken the whole lot off the A-frame and uh, we've brought it inside to put the two clamps onto the bracket first. And just making sure the jockey wheel lines up inside nicely before we tighten it all up. So now we've got a solid mounting frame. Um, we will now take that out and attach that to the bracket. Those bolts at the bottom are still hitting the bar. Uh -huh. on that second one. But you see these, these are pretty good. They're not coming small out, just barely coming through. Mm. But you can see what they've done already. Yeah, you can see these ones will need to be packed out. Yeah, see what yeah. they've done already. Right, so um, we need to pack out the um, washers or the nut on the other side as well um, because it's digging into the A-frame metal, correct? Yes. These lovely big olive trees where we're staying, they've got so much fruit on them. Charlie likes to eat them as well.
foot goes on the bottom of here. Mm -hmm. You can see it's nice and big and flat rather than a wheel. And this has a ball motion in it. So if you're on uneven ground, it can level itself out. So That's basically, it. there is a pin. Just goes on like that. That's it. That's it. Alright. The windy bits in the box still. Because our drill's still on uh, charge, we'll have to get out the hand crank. <laughs> Woo -hoo! How's she look? I think it looks okay. Uh, we will definitely need a drill. Oh yeah. We've got it going the wrong Normally this would be really quick because you'd be using a drill. All right, so we've decided to put the extension on it, which is this extra piece here. Good. So two things, uh, one, even with the hand winch, it's a hell of a lot easier to wind up and down. Uh, two, the van is not moving anywhere near as much as it was with the jockey wheel, which is a good thing. <laughs> now, we've also brought some new um, chocks, wheel chocks, leveling chocks, and uh, we're debating whether we put the new ones in or not now. Well, we've lifted, we've already here, we're already hooked, yeah, hitched up. Yeah. We just need to move the van Might just well. a smidgey smidge. Yeah, I think we can do that. <laughs> of course we can do yeah. that. So, uh, we're going to drop it back down on the tow ball. Take the old wheel chocks, wheel chocks out, out and then we'll get the new ones in and we'll try See and level the van up again. <laughs> So we've brought these red foot, red foot levelers. levelers. Um, first time taking them out. So they're curved. So as you drive up, you go up higher. Chocks are specially shaped to fit in there so that they don't move, essentially. These even have rubber mats. Nice. Part of the reason for that is that they will fill with dirt or mud. And then they won't close. And then they won't uh -huh. actually lock together. Anyway. Or, and this is obviously anti-slip as well. Yeah. So this is okay. what we're currently using. Just regular chocks. <clears throat> and there are leveling chocks.
So it took us a lot longer than I anticipated to install it, but we have our boss jockey wheel here and uh, looking good. It's much more stable, which is really good. And we've got our new wheel chocks on as well, and they seem to be doing the job really well. Um, it was a really hot day. It was still over 30 degrees. Um, as you could hear, me in the video are still quite sick we were both really tired and grumpy a bit snappy but uh, we got there in the end and we're gonna look forward to using it in the future so join us in next week's episode uh, we didn't have a chance in this week to install our eye check so that's a tire pressure monitoring system so it monitors the pressures of the tires and the new upgrade um, also allows you to um, check the temperatures of the bearings on your caravan which is very important so mm. we'll be installing that uh, next week and you may have noticed in the background in this video we now have Starlink yes we were put in a situation where we needed to buy it so um, we've got that we're just gonna tidy up where we've got it mm. which we will show you as well so yeah. how we've gone about setting it up uh, to make it easy for us so yeah watch out for that video and um, a few little exciting things coming up as well. So, so we'll see you on the next one.